Here is your question. Oops, I'm sorry. Yes. All right, so if you have read and understood, considering it's surgical <coughs> anatomy station, kindly yes. please tell me by looking at this image. Can you tell me what are the parts of the brachial plexus you can identify here, please? Uh, yes, I can identify the uh, uh, this trunks uh, and divisions, anterior and posterior divisions, as, and uh, the and, and the terminal branches. Yes, please mention them. Name them, please. Uh, what what should I mention? The terminal branches? Uh, trunks, you said. What trunks can okay. you identify? Because here there are certain labelings. If you can kindly tell me what label A, B, C, D, E, and F are to begin with. Okay. Yes. Um, this is... Uh, F is... um. Uh, middle trunk uh, and uh, this uh, B and is B is the uh, median uh, and this is the terminal branch and this is the musculocutaneous branch B is okay and then C C is the uh, lateral uh, lateral cord giving the this is uh, giving the ulnar branch Sorry, and median then, median know. cord, med, median cord giving the ulnar branch. All right, okay. If you can identify number F, please. F is uh, uh, um, this is the medial uh, middle middle trunk of the brachial plexus. Okay, medial root of the median nerve. Okay, E, please. E E is axillary nerve of the posterior cord. Uh, D, if you can identify, please. D is, uh, this is uh, uh, circumflex humeral uh, vessels. Anterior circumflex humeral vessels. Mm, okay, I have something else. All right. Uh, what are the trunks, you said, of the brachial plexus? The upper, middle, and lower trunk. Okay. Which is, which is further... Trunks, yes. Yeah. And these trunks are further divided into divisions, anterior and posterior divisions. Yes. And these divisions give uh, rise to how many chords? Well, these uh, further uh, give rise to the chords uh, uh, like uh, superior, uh, uh, lateral, medial, and posterior chords uh, according to the, uh, that are present in relation to the second part of the axillary artery. Can you tell me uh, where are the roots of the brachial plexus found? Uh, roots, they are, for, for, they are after exiting from the intervertebral foramen. Uh, they lie in between the uh, scalene, scalene anterior and posterior muscles. Uh, in medius. And, uh, yes, in medius muscle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. What about trunks? Where uh, exactly would you find them? Uh, the trunks lies at the base of the posterior triangle, and they are lie they lies posterior to the uh, subclavian artery. Okay, just imagine uh, one person is uh, climbing a tree, and he thinks that he can climb on a branch. And while he is stretching out to reach out to the branch, he falls. What kind of injury would the patient uh, have, and how would patient present? Uh, this is a hyperextension injury. It will affect his uh, uh, lower cord, which is arising from the uh, lower, lower trunk, cord. Yeah. It, yes, this is a, a C. It, it will affect the nerve root C A T one. Uh, 
very good and and he will present with the uh, features of uh, ulnar nerve affected affected ulnar nerve uh, yes uh, the, the patient may present with the uh, that this claw hand yes uh, as well as loss of and called what please clump and this uh, clump and this clump is known case as clump paralysis. case clump case paralysis what yes. sensory loss would the patient present with and the loss of sensation of the median surface of the arm and forearm as well as over the uh, uh, arm and medial forearm, one yes. yes yeah good all right very good okay moving on if you can look at image c then tell me how the shoulder joint is formed uh, it is formed by the head of the humerus and the glenoid of the scapula as well as uh, the More other exactly, Yes. Uh, as well as acromion and coracoid process of the scapula. Yes, now you have answered it completely. And what type of joint is shoulder joint? It is ball and socket joint. Synovial type of joint. synovial joint, yes. Type of. Okay. Right. If you can tell me uh, in picture A over here, what is number two? Please. This is acromion. This is acromion process. If you can identify number 15, please. Uh, uh, this is supraspine, it is fossa. Number five. Infraspinous fossa. Yes, 11. 11 is subscapular fossa. Okay. What attaches here? Subscapular muscle. All right. Innervated by which nerve? Uh, it is a, a subscapular uh, nerve. Okay. Can you tell me what are the structures which strengthen the shoulder joint? Uh, can you repeat the question? What are the structures which strengthen the shoulder joint? Uh, these are the uh, rotator cuff muscles, and this is called the uh, uh, like the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, as well as deltoid. Yes, but there are certain other uh, and, ligaments and and yes. other ligaments which uh, which are also uh, strengthening the shoulder. They are uh, they are uh, posto. Coracoclavicular ligament, yes, and coracoacromial ligament, and one is coracohumerus ligament, and crocobrachialis. Uh, two muscles as well. Which muscles? Muscles, mem, the uh, deltoid, and uh, no, not deltoid. This is... All right, we can Super... come back to this one later. Okay. 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 Right. Uh, moving on. Can you please identify what kind of image are you looking at? This is MR arthrogram of the shoulder. Which side can you identify? This is the right side. All right. Can you uh, identify the structures which are marked, circled? Uh, yes. Uh, number one is the acromion process. Yes. Number four, number four is the lateral end of the clavicle. Okay. Uh, and number five? Number five is uh, the, uh, this is uh, deltoid muscle. Yes. And this arrow is pointing at number six. What could that be? This is uh, axillary recess. Okay. Can you mention the indications? When would you ask for this, invest this type of investigation? When uh, we are suspecting... Uh, when, uh, when we are suspecting hyperextension injuries or any rotator cuff injuries or any tendonitis or supraspinatus tear, then we can uh, use, we can take the help of this uh, investigation. Okay. What does this investigation show you? Is it normal image? Or... I mean, this is this is the normal uh, image showing structures. Yes. Inferior. Yes. In um, there's this the showing the head is normal. The glen it is inside the glenoid cavity. Yes. And below the axillary recess is normal. Axillary vessels they are normal. Yes. And, uh, Anything. Supraspin. Out of supras context. Yes. Supraspin. It is tendon impingement could be there because yes. of the. How uh, would that present if there is impingement of the shoulder joint? Uh, yes, the patient will be unable to uh, abduct uh, the, the arm in first in first 15 degrees. All right. Which muscles are responsible for the abduction of first 15 degrees? 
uh, in first 15 degrees it is a supraspinatus muscle Spinatus, and yeah. then and then after 15 to uh, 90 degrees it is the deltoid, deltoid muscle this one and oh, then right. after yes after 90 to 120 it is a trapezius muscle and serratus anterior and serratus yes good okay thank you